So hello again everyone, uh, it's another Iran video and um, in this video there's going to be a few parts to this one so we're going to do um, an escalation video of what could happen if you uh, US and Iran sank, um, tensions increase um, and so what, what these two countries can do to escalate the problem. I know that things will happen in the meantime so uh, before this video goes out I'm going to do another video about what's happening, the current state of play. Um, so that's gonna that's gonna do that one. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about the possible escalation um, uh, things that could happen. In the next one, I'm gonna talk about de-escalation, what they could do to de-escalate the situation, and in I guess the third video or two, um, what cu what's currently happening, which is heading towards a stalemate by the looks of it. So, anyways, these these are things Iran could do and have kind of done in the past to kind of escalate section um, um, escalate things. So. Blocking up the Strait of Hormuz is something they could do. So, this is the Strait of Hormuz here, which is quite a narrowing of the land between. Um, I've got no idea which country that is. Um, I think it's Oman. In between, so it's, it's by the UAE and Iran. There, my lack of geography skills are really showing. So there's the Strait of Hormuz there, and so Iran has um, committed some actions within the Strait of Hormuz in the past. So they seized the tanker. Um, from I think it was Great Britain that it was and I'll have to check that and I'll throw up some sources anyways uh, post edit there was the Japanese tanker that was attacked here as well which some people saying it was Iran some people saying it wasn't I don't think it was um, so this is one way they could cause tension by um, seizing ships that are passing through the Strait of Hormuz which has happened in the past uh, another way they can do it is so attacking um, and seizing tankers carrying goods that's something they've done. Attacking Saudi um, oil pumps or facilities, which is something that they've done in the past as well. Cyber attacks. Iran have been accused of doing multiple cyber attacks um, in the past. They could arm more proxies, sort of like um, the Houthi rebels in Yemen. They could arm them. That's some good coffee. Uh, they could start arming them more, giving them better weapons. Um, Shia militias um, within Iraq. That's something else they could do. So there's that. So arming more proxies, more naval drills with China and Russia. So Iran, I think, fairly recently started doing naval dr more naval drills with China and Russia. And when you do naval drills, it's basically like flexing your muscle and showing that, you know, these are things that could happen. You know, if if you if the other the other countries or the other um, team steps up and tries to cause more problems with Iran. So when you do naval drills, it's just kind of flexing your muscles. You know, your your boats, uh, your tankers, um, your uh, Oh, the thing that they they use to carry loads of uh, planes. That's the, the the word slips me. Um, they don't, they're not used as often. I think the US loves using them, but uh, you use them to carry a load of planes. Increase enrichment uh, for a bomb, uranium enrichment, which Iran have threatened um, that they're going to do essentially. And so you need a certain percentage for enriching for um, electricity, nuclear power, and you need a bit more. You need more enrichment for a bomb. And so by doing that, Iran are basically goading the U.S. saying that come, come get us. You know, we're going to start uh, breaking the the new the Iran nuclear agreement uh, further um, beyond the agreed level. Um, that's something Iran could do, and that's something Iran look. It looks like they're doing that. They're going to do that. They could attack more uh, U.S. bases in the Middle East. Um, you know, sort of like what they've done recently when they've attacked um, a U.S. base, but. They gave forewarning um, via the Iraqis that something was going to happen, that the US needs to pull its soldiers out. And that was in retaliation for what happened with um, uh, the assassination of uh, General Sule uh, Soleimani. They could appoint a new hawkish general. So without even doing any actual physical actions, they could appoint a new general to replace um, Soleimani as a more hawkish guy who's not going to use proxies as much, but he might put um, actual Iranian forces uh, that that may attack, um, say, a US base, which is probably not going to happen purely because um, that would be more of an act of war. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I don't think that will happen. Some of these are not, obviously, there's, there's a low chance some of these happening, there's a high chance some of these happening. But the most important thing is these are things that could happen in theory. And that's the point of um, that I forgot to stress was, in theory, these things could happen. They could push Hezbollah or Hamas to attack Israel or other U.S. assets. I'm not saying Israel is a U.S. asset, but they could uh, potentially arm Hezbollah more or or Hamas more to attack Israel. Hezbollah did threaten that they had thousands of rockets ready to fire on um, Israel uh, as well. That could overload the um, the anti-missile uh, system that they have in Iran. I mean, in Israel, sorry. 
Um, so that's a possibility. They could uh, attack U.S. officials like like Pompeo. Maybe not someone not someone on Pompeo's level, but given the fact that Soleimani was a potential successor uh, to um, the Ayatollah, the Ayatollah who is the highest power within um, Iran, you know, um, it does put a lot of U.S. officials that are going to visit um, U.S. bases within Iraq um, on notice because anything could happen. Um, similar to how the Soleimani thing happened out of nowhere. Um, Iran could do this. It would be a very, very bad step to do it. Uh, but it's very possible that this is something they could do. And these are some of the ways um, that Iran could escalate tensions if they wanted to, in theory. And so the US um, has some options as well. So they could put more pressure on countries um, trading with Iran, like China and Russia, and some EU countries that did um, trade that do trade with Iran. Um, there's the example of the uh, Huawei CFO who was arrested in Canada for um, Huawei allegedly dealing with Iran. Um, some people aren't sure if the arrest was due to um, the fear that Huawei are becoming um, a big tech powerhouse uh, within the world. Also, um, th there, are, there are theories on it. It, it doesn't matter um, specifically um, what the idea is. What, what the, the argument cited by the US is that she was trading, the Huawei were trading with Iran um, illegally, uh, despite the fact that they promised they wouldn't. Um, so yeah, that's why she was arrested, and that's a thing the U.S. could do is target more more companies that target more companies that do dealings with Iran, more companies and more countries, and they could put pressure on them, saying that look, uh, we're not going to do business with you if you're going to carry on uh, trading with Iran. So that's a strict possibility. Potentially attack uh, Iran or Iranian assets. So Trump said that there's like they have 51 targets or something like that, citing, um, citing 51 uh, hostages that were taken by Iran or so something like that. I can't remember. It's not super important, but he was, you know, him targeting civilian sites or um, Iranian oil facilities. That would be a big escalation step. Attacking Iran directly. That's a huge um, step in escalation. Is he going to do that? Probably not. He likes to talk big. But then again, he did have the general assassinated. So you can never tell with that guy. He's very... Um, he could do anything. Essentially, he could do nothing or he could do absolutely anything. So, yeah. Um, arming anti-Shia militias. Um, so... Um, not exactly like the the more well-known um, Shia uh, anti-Shia militias. But if there are any within Iraq who, who don't like... Um, Iran. I guess ISIS would be a good example. I'd say they're not going to arm ISIS because that's that's not good. But then I I don't know. I can't name any specifically because all of the the anti sort of Shia um, militias or groups they're they're pretty um, they're far worse than Iran honestly. But that's an example of something they could do. They could do cyber attacks on Iran as well. So you know um, they could do damage to Iranian facilities. Um, from from the US if they can gain access to them through um, the internet or whatever means that they use. I'm not too clued up on cyber attacks in themselves, but that's a possibility. They could do more assassinations. So if there are more Iranian um, officials that are outside of Iran, um, in Iraq or wherever they may be, um, they could have them assassinated essentially. They could help anti-Iranian um, protesters within the country. So Iran had massive, massive protests um, a few months ago over uh, rising fuel prices. So that's a possibility that the US could back these Iranian protesters, maybe not with weapons necessarily, but with um, pro propaganda tools. Start talking about how viciously that these protesters have been cracked down on and how the US has to do something for humanitarian reasons. Um, so that's a possibility as well. And obviously the, the top option the US have if they really want to super escalate things within Iran is to try to kill the Ayatollah. That's something that won't happen um, purely because you, you, um, you assassinate the leader of a foreign country, Jesus Christ. But we do know that during the Libya conflict, um, the US did try to kill the uh, Libyan leader Gaddafi via a drone attack. But I think they ended up killing his daughter instead or something like that. So these are, in theory, some of the options that Iran or the US has in terms of escalating the situation to further. Um, I'm going to do a separate video tomorrow that should go out tomorrow or on Sunday about um, the possibilities of de-escalation. Then I'll probably do a third one on the likely outcome of this. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below and uh, like, comment and subscribe and that will do it for this one.